reduce population. How are you going to do that? We're, so let me, let me be clear. You're reducing population growth. <laughs> this is extremely important. Uh, we're reducing population growth. And let's just go back here and bring up the population graph again. Uh, well, we'll look at the global total. All right, so how are you going to accomplish this? I'll pull it one notch. So it has a pretty marginal impact, 0.1 degree C. And the reason for that, you can see in the right-hand graph. So it has no real detectable impact until the second half of the century, by which time you've already burnt a lot more fossil fuel, and that generates the warming that, that we see. So uh, I think this is something you all have to work out among the developed, emerging, and developing nations. Um, and there's a lot of controversy around these policies. Uh, for exactly the reasons that you were just articulating. They may be wonderful, high leverage policies for empowering women and um, erasing or, or mitigating many of the historic uh, inequities uh, across the genders and the sexes, but uh, it doesn't have that much impact on, uh, on the climate business. It might still be a wonderful thing to do, although that's up to you all to negotiate.